New Orleans, a re-energized tropical storm Cristobal continued its advance toward the U.S. Gulf Coast early Sunday, having spawned a tornado in Florida and brought heavy rains that already caused flooding and mudslides in Mexico and Central America. After weakening to a tropical depression while moving over land in Mexico's Gulf Coast, Cristobal headed back into the southern Gulf of Mexico from the Yucatan Peninsula on Friday and powered back up into a tropical storm. Forecasters said it would arrive on U soil late Sunday but was not expected to grow into a hurricane. Outer rain bands from the storm were spreading across parts of the northern Gulf Coast early Sunday, and conditions were expected to deteriorate, the National Hurricane Center in Miami said. Cristobal's maximum sustained winds remained at 50 mph and it was moving north at 12 mph, centered around 175 miles south-southwest from the mouth of the Mississippi River. On Sunday afternoon, the National Hurricane Center's Tropical Analysis and Forecast Branch in Miami tweeted that the storm's peak seas off the coast of Louisiana were 25 feet tall, but that winds and seas would diminish on Monday. However, the National Hurricane Center said the storm was expected to slowly strengthen until making landfall Sunday night along the U Gulf Coast. But the storm already made its presence felt Saturday evening with a tornado that touched down near downtown Orlando, the National Weather Service said. The twister just missed a group of protesters at Lake Eola at around 7.30 p.m. There appeared to be no injuries, but tree limbs were knocked down, and there were reports of power outages. Yes, it is related to the tropical storm that is well to our west, said Scott Kelly, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida. But the tropical storm provided a lot of low-level shear and that has allowed for some tornadoes to form over central Florida. The threat for tornadoes would continue overnight, he said. The Hurricane Center said the storm could cause heavy rains from East Texas to Florida this weekend and into early next week. A tropical storm warning was posted for the northern Gulf of Mexico coast from Intracoastal City, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border. Storm surge warnings and watches were in effect in Louisiana and Mississippi, with flooding up to 5 feet expected in some places. In Louisiana, Governor John Bell Edwards has declared a state of emergency to prepare for the storm's possible arrival. On Friday, he asked President Donald Trump to declare a pre-landfall emergency for the state due to the storm's threat.